And there you have it. Maurice, were you low-key trying to squeal on your boy? Talking about some, you might be triple-minded, and then his silly behind come back and say, more like quadruple-minded. Hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This channel discusses trending topics, celebrity news, and reality TV. So this scene with Martel meeting up with Maurice and Marceau, his former cut buddies, partners in crime. Oh, this has a whole lot of hidden gems. We're going to break this thing down like a fraction. Let's do it. Hey, dude, it's cold as hell outside. Yeah, it's freezing. That's why I don't see how you're doing that. But you got oh, your yeah, I mean, hoochie just... daddy shorts on. Of course he got on his hoochie daddy shorts. Hell, he is a goddamn hoochie with his whole ass. In the winter? Yeah, because it's going to be inside. You know what I'm saying. That's right. <laughs> <It was? laughs> and a lot don't care who tell it. He know goodness well that won't no dang on charade. My spotty senses tell me that was coleslaw calling. That's why you ignored that call. Last time I saw you, you know, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, you played escort. There's oh. dangers out there. I walk to my car all the time by myself. I'm being difficult. I'm I mean, somebody can just scoop you up. If I walk into the door, it's okay. I'm going to stay right here. I was like, well, that's oh. interesting. What we got to do with Sheree, though? <laughs> what does that have to do? That's exactly what that has to do with Sheree. <laughs> Me being a gentleman? That, that's, the, that's the mother of my, my four children. Exactly, Maurice. We ain't buying what he's selling either, all right? So I want her to be safe. So I've always been a gentleman and always will be a gentleman, mm -hmm. you know? How's that working with Sheree, though, for real? Don't start without me. Hey, Marshall, it's Don't real. Don't start without me. Gentlemen, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what up? What up, though? <laughs> Let me see. He already in on me. Because Martell walked Mel out at uh, Kimmy's deal. I was trying to find out, like, you know. He's kind of find himself. You can date. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you can A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You can date Martell. And right now, you might be triple-minded. Quadruple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> Don't and there you have it. Maurice, were you low-key trying to squeal on your boy? Talking about some, you might be triple-minded. And then his silly behind come back and say, more like quadruple-minded. Let's kind of break this down a little bit. So are you saying that not only is Martel fooling with Sheree, and we know Slaw, AC, Ariane Curry, is there a third and a fourth woman in the mix? I wouldn't put it past them. Because y'all know it's rumors that he was dating somebody, some young girl or somebody else in Atlanta. And I guess all that's going to be aired out on Real Housewives of Atlanta. He's stepping out on Miss Jeray. Okay. But are we surprised though? But for them to have that Freudian slip like that, child, it'd be your friends. It'd be your own friends that squeal on you. But you know, oh, Marty Mar ain't that bright though. What is it? Martiana bust it down, child. Make no decisions until you're ready. Just date and play the field. Oh, find nah. you. Well, I ain't gonna do all that, but no, I'm just enjoying myself, though, man. I'm wondering why everybody always want to discuss my dating life, like all the time. All right. Don't hit me in the face. Trying to give you some some poppers. <laughs> Who child? Please don't hit him in his face. Seeing as though he ain't got no other way to make money. Oh, Martiana bust it down, child. He got to do his OnlyFans and things like that because. It ain't like he got no business deals going. Oh, but wait a minute. Or is he an owner of Scope still? That's another conversation. Oh! oh you all right? You all right, buddy? It, it hit you? Damn. Boy, oh, thank God for the my net. God. You know, football was my sport, like not baseball. But, you know, I was, I was a quarterback, so I can throw. I think I've embarrassed these guys enough. No, no, Martell. These guys have tricked you out your spot, honey, and they have embarrassed your ass enough, okay? You and Queen Melody were a young and rising power couple in the Huntsville community doing your real estate thing on, on a residential side and whatever. Yeah, you guys were young millionaires, okay? And they preyed upon that. They wanted a piece of that pie. We all know Marceau and Tisha. Everybody knows the story about them being on hard times, him losing his job in the movie theater and all that. You giving them guys a hand up. You trying to emulate how they ran around on their women and you trying to be the man competing a penis swinging contest, trying to keep up with them. Honey, you lost your whole kingdom. You lost your businesses. You lost your wife trying to have a penis swinging contest. OK, you see how that worked out and you being in poor company. 
Yes, you did lose favor, but let's talk about that in a few. But hold up, let's talk about a quarterback. I find it ironic that he brags about the fact that he was maybe, what, a college quarterback at Alabama a and and maybe a star football player quarterback in high school. Normally, quarterbacks are the leaders of a team. They have great decision-making skills, and you, my boy, do not, okay? And you didn't have the mental acuity, and you didn't have the presence of mind to try to try out for pro. Who knows? Maybe your Bama ass could have made it to pro. You know, I don't think you would have been a first or second round draft pick, but you could have got up on a team, but you were so weak-minded and you didn't believe in yourself and you didn't even try to. Yeah, I'm talking about you're a quarterback. No, you a follower and you follow the Scots. You're no leader, Martell. But let's continue. Okay, so Marcel is asking Martell what does he have going on business-wise, and he lets him know that he is going to appear in Upscale Magazine, and he is going to have some little shindig, and he's looking for a venue. So here come old Maurice with his smart ass. Let me tell you, they stay clowning this dude all in his face, right? I don't care what y'all say. It is truth in every joke. And when people are extra sarcastic, I don't care if it's a friend, family, or foe, they mean that shit. It's truth in every joke. But, honey, y'all uh, hear it in a second, but look at um, Martel. Is there something you need to tell us, honey? Because I think you wanted to be the diva in a relationship because you are looking in the mirror like, look at me. I know I'm a bad bitch. No, honey, Melody was the bad bitch, and that's the problem. You wanted to be the bad bitch in a relationship. Ciao. You wear another stole or two. What you mean? Your little, your little fox. Oh. Because I love the way she works. So Maurice asked him, is he inviting Sheree? He's like, yeah, of course. But let's get into this, though. Let's check it out. You know, I, I tell people, um, like, like over the last two years, it's like my favor has really been, like, stripped of me. I guess probably some of the things I'm going through, you know what I'm saying? That's like um, some spiritual stuff for me, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed it. Mm -hmm. And now, for, like, it's coming back some, somewhat, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But Martel, you can't be serious, brother. Why do you think you're going through this? All the hell that you put your ex-wife, Miss Melody, should read through. Everybody knows it. God knows it. Now the public knows it. Okay. You haven't really atoned for anything that you did. You're just now turning the corner. And now that I think the custody battle is over and I think everything has to remain the same. But that's a whole nother conversation. It's shame on you for trying to take the kids. But brother, even Marceau kind of giving you the side eye, even though he's just kind of looking at you. But, you know, you got to take accountability because the Bible says, Psalms 105, verse 15, do not touch my anointed ones. Do no harm to my prophets. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Do not touch my chosen people and do not hurt my prophets. Okay. And Melody Cherie is anointed and you were covered. And by proxy, just by you being in association with her, being married to her, you too were covered. So yes, brother, you lost your favor. Now, do you think you're going to gain favor by dealing with Sheree? Hell, she is big a scam as you are, allegedly. Okay? Let me take that back. I don't want to say she's not anointed. Who am I to, to be her judge during an executioner? But we have seen Sheree for her works. You know, she done done some shisty things over the years. But God bless her, you know. But saying that to say, honey, the covering that you have with Melody Sheree and 10 lifetimes to come. I don't know if you ever get that favor, okay? Unless you truly repent, but only God can judge that. But child, hmm. I think struggle to me, oh, can definitely help oh, build one, character one, and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why you don't spoil your children. Now, absolutely, struggling does build character, but who in the hell wants to struggle? But anything you work hard for, you're going to tend to appreciate it a bit more. But did y'all hear Martel say that he don't want to spoil his kids? Of course you don't want to spoil them because you ain't had shit growing up and you are jealous of the fact that Melody Cherie can provide a certain lifestyle for them that you no longer benefit from. Everything was all fine when you were making sure that the kids were living an opulent and a lavish lifestyle when you were a part of it, okay? What you jealous ass. That's why you don't want them to be on social media and to get certain exposure because you don't have a hand in it, because you have your hands all in Melody's pocket trying to counter coins, right? You want a part of it. That's why poor Sugar Mama can't even um, be on a box anymore. Well, I don't know, because I noticed that it's a, a beautiful little melanated girl that is on the advertisement for Sugar Mama now, and I'm sure she'll probably have a variety of little child models. But you know what? Because your jealous ass knows that all of the internet aunties and things like that, we love all the M&M kids and everyone has a, an affinity to Sugar Mama. Well, all of them. 
and you just don't want them to get that exposure, you know, and you yourself said that you wanted to open them a YouTube channel because you know it's money in that child. Now, as far as spoiling the kids, of course, there should be balance, right? They should have responsibilities. They should appreciate the things that are provided to them. And I'm just speaking in general, not the Eminem kids, but just kids in general. And they should have a well-balanced life, right? No one wants children to grow up to have a sense of entitlement, but you do want them to appreciate things given to them. But no, that ain't what you meant, brother. And you just mad because Miss Marlene, bless her heart, might not have had two nickels to rub together to give you shit growing up with your jealous ass. Also, I want to thank all of my returning subscribers and all of my new subscribers. I definitely appreciate all of you. So drop down in the commentary. Tell me what you think. This is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.